Hey guys, this is Zam Aziz and it is tech time. Today I'm going to show you how to download Visual Studio, which is a software for programmers to code in C++, C Sharp, F Sharp, Visual Basic and many other software, many other codes. And um, this uh, software is offered free by Microsoft to students in the United States. I don't know about other countries, but they need your email for the college to get it for free. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the uh, with the video. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and launch our internet browser. So uh, your internet browser usually is right here uh, with an E. That's the one you're gonna use for Internet Explorer, or you can use any of these for Opera, Internet Explorer, Firefox, or Chrome. Today I'm going to use Chrome. So go ahead and click on that. After we clicked on that, let's go to Google. After you go to Google, type Dream Spark. Dream Spark is a website for Microsoft where they offer uh, the software for free for all students. And click on the first link that you see. This is the website, and these are the softwares that they offer for free. So, the one we're looking for is in the Developer and Designer Tools inside Visual Studio 2010 Professional. That's the one that we're looking for. You can also, if you don't see it right here, you can use this bar to go to the right or left. And you can see that they offer Express Edition. But uh, I like Professional, so that's the one I'm going to download. And all of, of this software is for free. So click on Visual Studio 2010 Professional. After you clicked on it, you see these two things, these two tabs. Get Verified and Download. You cannot press on Download unless you get Verified first and you will not need a product key for this download as you can see in here so go ahead and press on get verified and they will need your email in here to verify you and uh, you'll, they, you'll, you'll need your college email to make sure that you are a student you can create an account if you don't have an account and it's just a simple email and the school name uh, if you don't have an activation code you don't need to do all this uh, so go ahead and go back I'm gonna put my email which is a Hotmail account so it's linked with Microsoft so it's much easier after you've done that you will get this download green button so go ahead and click on that and don't forget that when you get verified they will send you an email to your email and make sure you go there and, ma and make sure that they verify you right so after you click download this pop-up Will, go, will come in here. If you have a problem with this and not, it's not coming out, out to you, you can go ahead in here in this corner and you will see a pop-up right in here with an X with a small X on it and we say pop-up right by it. If this doesn't show up and the pop-up shows up, click on the pop-up and under it you will see allow Dream, Sp uh, Dream Spark. That's the one you're going to choose and then press done then go ahead and click download again and it should show up for you if you have a problem with it just let me know and I'll help you fix it uh, let's maximize this okay so the first thing you're gonna see in here is it's only four easy steps it's not that hard well the first thing we're gonna do is download SDM so let's go ahead and click that after we've done that the the file will come in here in case of Firefox it will ask you to save it or not or run it and all other internet uh, browsers if you don't find it or uh, closed it or something you can also find it in the start you go ahead to your uh, personal folder name and mine is Z so go ahead and click on that uh, and then after that you will see downloads or my download double click on that and inside you will see the file name sdm underscore n e n so double click on that and run let's minimize that and press next and read this then agree next and it will choose a place for you so go ahead and next that and just wait for a second for it it will install by itself then when you're done close after you finish that don't you don't even have to read all these two steps just download the dot sdk Go ahead and click on that and it will download right here or like we said you can find it right here under this name so let's minimize it and click on it you will see this download 
page if it doesn't launch for you there is a slight chance that you've opened secure download manager too many times to fix that issue I'm gonna show you how right click on this bar and click on start task manager after you clicked on it you will you'll you'll be looking for secure download manager so press s a couple of times if you don't see it you're good if you do see it and after you've clicked on secure download manager a couple of times it doesn't launch for you you're gonna go ahead and press end process then end process again as you can see it went away so if any bugs are there or crashes it will go away and then go ahead and click it again and it should launch just right if not let me know and I'll help you with it um, here what we're gonna do is just press start download and it will download by itself and it's a 2 gigabyte file but please remember the 2 gigabyte file is not a small file it will take some time for it and if you're on a laptop I recommend that you use a wired connection because Wi-Fi is not the top speed and it will take a some hours to download it for me it won't take too long because I have a high-speed internet uh, 20 megabytes and I get to 3 30 megabytes but on the normal high-speed internet it will take some time so you don't have to sit right in front of it and wait you can just go ahead and do your errands and come the next day it'll be done or uh, because it's a secure download manager you won't have to uh, keep your laptop open you can you can pause it and then come the next day and start download so I'm gonna click start download and it will start downloading from zero and go on its way so if you have a laptop you can just press this pause right here so I'm gonna press it and it pauses right away then I can press it again and it will keep downloading and it won't have any issues or any problems at all and as you can see it's downloading in here so we're just gonna wait for that until it's done okay so after it is done downloading uh, it will tell you that it is done and you can launch it so we're gonna go ahead and click launch but this is the problem that you are usually gonna have is the disk burner it asks you to, to put it on a DVD because it's 2 gigabyte and that's that's not convenient for most people so we're not gonna do that we're gonna go ahead and cancel and you can close this and close uh, don't close the browser let's leave it on and we can go ahead and, and go to Google not this one though this one let's go to Google and in here type Damien tools I misspelled it um, it doesn't matter because you can see it in the first link so downloads Damien tools that's the, the link that you want so go ahead and click on that after you clicked on that you will see products on the far left uh, uh, highlight that just go ahead and hover over it and then go on Damien Tools Lite click on that after you click on that you will see download and it's free which makes it much better than having to go ahead and buy a CD and, and figure out how to put the uh, file on the CD so we're gonna go ahead and click download and in here there are a million downloads in here so the right one is right in here right in this corner so click on this download after you've done that you'll wait for it to finish downloading and also as we said before you can see it in the downloads file folder my bad uh, so let's go ahead and click on it you say yes to it and it's just a simple installation you read this and then you agree uh, but in here don't choose paid license free license which is what we wanted so go ahead and click on that and we're gonna wait for it next I accept next and then next and then next install and it won't take too long for it to install everything it just figures things out and then installs itself
when it is done with the installation you will see this so go ahead and press install what this is going to do is give you a gadget for it to run so press finish and the program will run and you will see this gadget right here on the corner you can go ahead and cl uh, close the whole browser and you can close this one too let's close it okay and now we're on the just the desktop and you can see the gadget right here but if you don't see it you can go ahead and click right click and then go to gadgets and in the gadgets it will be Damien tools right here you, you just double click it and it will appear right here if it doesn't appear with that on you you can go to right click on on this tab and uh, start task manager after you've done start task manager you look for sidebar this sidebar dot exe you can go ahead and end process and process it will go away and everything on the sidebar will go away to return it again you go to file new task run and type sidebar dot exe no spaces and press ok and it will launch it right back and then if it do, if you still don't see it then go ahead back again to gadgets and double click on Damien tools and it will show up if it doesn't let me know and I'll help you with that so um, now that we have Damien tools here we can click on this disk and go to direct us to uh, ourselves to download you can go either desktop and then your system folder name or and then downloads or you can just click on downloads and from here you can see Visual Studio 2010 professional and double click on this folder you will not see the file because it's a .img file so click on this right here and choose all files now you can see it you can press open and what this does is act as if it's a CD but it really isn't so it will open it and let you install it so you can click on this and press yes then in here press on install Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 and it will start installing Uh, this also might take some time since the file is 2 gigabytes so don't wait on it just let it install and go do a couple of things and come back to it you'll be fine but for now just press next and then read this and then press I have read and accepted the license uh, terms then press next after that it chooses a place for you don't change with don't change that so you don't have any errors or anything like that press install and then after that this will take a long time so you can go ahead and do whatever you want and come back to it and it'll be fine so we're just gonna uh, wait for it to finish installing now we're nearing uh, finishing installing and it took about uh, 10 minutes at tops depends on your computer and how much you have space and uh, just a note make sure that you don't have any uh, other programs or games or software or anything that's installing at the same time as installing Microsoft Visual Studio because it will stop it and won't let it install even updates won't let you uh, install and continue on it so make sure that you are installing just one program at a time um, and in this case just let Microsoft Visual Studio install not any other thing so now it's completely done with installation and everything so we're gonna go ahead and press finish after that you don't need to read anything about this you can just press exit so now you are done you have installed uh, Visual Studio and done with everything if you need to get rid of this you can dismount the CD by clicking on this and then you can uninstall it any way you want and uh, to launch Visual Studio you can press on start and you will see it right here or you can type visual 
and it will search your computer for it and it, you'll, you'll find it right here so you can go ahead and click on it and the product license is by your name it will take some time for it to launch because it's defaulted to the start of it and it has so many lines in it so it, it's not really quick um, this solution explorer is usually to your left I don't like it to the left because I code to the left and I use everything else on the right I like to keep it on the on the right so just a way so you can move it around you can drag it up here to the left and go to this line or go to the right and you see this thing right here just go over it and let it go it will go to the right but other than that I'll show you everything else in the next tutorials which will be about C++ and how to code in it and if you have any questions about the installation and everything just let me know I'll be more than happy to help you uh, if you have any questions that are more complicated uh, you can go to our website uh, www.indiedevelopment.co not .com and in there in the forums you can ask any questions you want or there might be questions asked already so you can just see them in there and get help right away I'm available at all times so whenever you ask a question I'll get it right away and I hope you enjoyed the video